Hey guys, welcome to my session. In this session, we are going to cover one more interesting topic that how we can create a voice assistant with OpenAI Chat GPT and .NET Core 6.0 Blazor application. So, in future, we can convert into a micro SaaS. So, give your ideas in the comment box below how we can convert into a voice assistant with Chat GPT into a micro SaaS. Guys, if you are new to my channel, Please hit the subscribe button and ring the bell icon for future notification. And if you ended up liking my video, give me a like and share this video with your friends. Let's get started. So for today's session, I am following two of my previous session. One is how to integrate chart GPT and how to use Azure speech service. So I will give this video, this two particular video link in the video description as a recommended tutorial. Please check it out. How to use Azure Speech Service and how to integrate Chat GPT with .NET Core APIs. So for today's session, I'm using Azure portal. I have created a speech service. This is my Azure Speech Service. You want to know more about Azure Speech Service? Please watch this video. I will give the link in video description. Here manage keys in the resource, these are the keys and the location endpoint we are going to use. Also, I am using upon AI platform in the secret key or in the personal API keys. Okay. I am using, I am going to create a Blazor server application. So, let's create a Blazor server applications. I am giving chart voice. chart gpt click on next and for now not need of https click on create i think one more blazers i'm just renaming the project name click on create guys to create this kind of videos it take lot much lot much effort to practice and record a video if you like give me a like if you can call it. so our blazor application has created now my task is to install two new get package one is our azure speech service and one is our open ai so go to blaze browse section so microsoft cognitive services dot speech this new get package we need Install this one. It will take few seconds to install. Click on accept. Guys, I am to, for today's session, I am not using any mic. So you may experience a little bit of disrupt in the noise. Please bear with me because it is a voice assistant video. I am not using any kind of mic. So it got installed. Next thing is we are going to use upon AI NuGet package. This one. Click on install. Okay, it's gone successfully. Now my task is go to our index.razor page with the initial page. And here I want I will remove this time. So welcome to our to assistant right now inside inside the code section itself i'm going to write to read my voice and display into a text box so i've declared two variable one is output input value and output value so input value which is i'm going to create so Bind value will be input, right? And next thing is I'm going to storage output value. So these two are value. It will read my voice, what I'm going to speak, and it will result from the chart GPT. 
next thing is let's add our logic to read the voice so i have added two method one is output speech recognition it will recognize the speech and one is in the page on initialize async itself i am reading from the microphone for this we need microsoft community service dot speech for audio config we need microsoft community services dot speech dot audio next this thing is my api sorry our microsoft speech services key one and my central region this is the key one and this is my region so it will store once it will got speak from the page on initial as async it got read then it will store in the input value input value our text box we binded here let's see it is working or not run the application It's the first time it will take few seconds more to run next time onward it will be a fraction of second only right <laughs> so let's delete our application so what i am speaking it is re reloading here let's see let's stop the applications and run the application what i am speaking you can see guys uh, please subscribe you can see it is coming please subscribe right delete this hey guys right what i am saying what i am saying it is displaying here properly properly and you can see go to counter high you can see go to counter high <laughs> please subscribe right we are now our text is reading our input voice is reading and storing into the text now text is we are going to connect to chart gpt and display the output and also speak the output how we can do this stop the application from running as for this session i'm going to recommend this particular session all the model classes are here you can copy paste and you can download from here also the source code I'm going to give today's source course also, but you can download there also. So for now, I'm after reading the text, this text I will pass to the chart GPT completion method. Let's see how. So I have added a few model here, which are chart GPT. So for this, we need text.json serializer. And for debugger display, we need diagnosis, system.diagnosis. So these are the models which are going to use for charge GPT completion request, completion response, usage, and charge GPT choice. Okay. For this, you can find complete detail on this session. Next thing I have added one more method which is use charge GPT and it is texting receiving the input query then it is we need text or json posting to upon api.com completion and the authorization bearer token will be this key this is the secret key and this is my authorization bearer token for encoding we need system.text right so all the record will store any output it will come to this output result so you can see it will come to this output register which is declared in the beginning of this method now this output register should speak to me from our front end how we can do this for this this is my azure speech service secret key what is the language and what is the voice name and it will speak my output register this output register which is generating from the chart gpt choice okay now i am calling this method from our this part right 
right now run the application and see the magic Please ask my sub viewer to subscribe to my channel. I'd be happy to help. Please let me know what I can do. Okay, and let's see now again. Yes. Please ask my subscriber to subscribe. <laughs> you can see wait for some second it will speak from the chat gpt okay let's make uh, this text uh, Okay, after result also, I mean, after successful of uh, response, I'm going to store this particular, the output result. So let's see, it will display in the text field or not. Please ask my viewer to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Let's see how it is responding. If you are asking how to So in this way, we can create a voice of our assistant or AI voice assistant with the help of upon AI chat GPT. Guys, if you like this video, give me a like and share this video with your friend. See you next time. Till then, have a nice time. Bye-bye.